I'm so happy we found an Uber Somali taxi driver. So we're just gonna right now go visit, um, kind of check out the Somali street that's been put. Guys, I'm totally in love with Uber service. So I've been calling Uber taxi in Minneapolis. <laughs> so this is the first Somali driver we've had. What's it like being Somali in Minneapolis? How um, intense I took a long time? Four years. Oh, Africa, no. Oh, mashallah, so fresh by the way. Why not so bad? Cool, hello there. How you get to me? Kenya, mashallah, the dab or milk? The dab. Wallahi, wow, intense I took me. Wait, 15 years. 15 years, mashallah. And then how did you come? You just decided America was your place? Oh, you get the lottery. Which one? Yeah, I get the lottery. Wallahi. <laughs> That's amazing. Intended Allah to me. Your family? Yes. Uh, Arur or mm -hmm. just your Hoya Abe? Hoya Abe. MashaAllah. So how long you been driving Uber? Intel with the Uber taxi? Uh, yeah. Is it better than the normal taxi? Yes. Why? Um, it's, it's safe to... Taxi is not safe. Oh, not but, safe. Yeah, yeah. taxi with it. Ah, okay. But the, what about the monkey Somalia or taxi with a hat that they lose a lot of business, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes or no? Uh, they lose a lot of business. <laughs> Are they mad at the Uber yeah. because Uber is putting Somali taxi drivers out of business? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo! So we're here. Look at Somali Street. <laughs> Somali Street. Welcome to Minneapolis, where they made history, naming Somali Street. Why is it named Tala? I don't know about it. <laughs> Nobody knows. Oh my god. Come, you want do you know anything about Talah Street? Okay, so guys, there's another street, it's called Talah. We just found it. It's a historic Somali city that I hope to explore in the future on Integration TV and perhaps maybe even visit. But this is Talah Street where many say the history of Somalia lies. So now they have a street in Minneapolis named after it. Taleh. Welcome to Taleh Afternoon. <laughs> Downtown, and um, we're crossing the street. I want to get killed, <laughs> but um, so we're gonna meet an influential business owner here in Minneapolis. I think he's doing amazing things. He's in multiple businesses, and he's living the American Somali dream. Woo, Rashid Muhammad, how are you? Hello, we're filming. How are you? <laughs> nice to meet Good you. to see you. Good to see you. You too. look great. Thank you. You're taller than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's the heels. Don't let them fool you. No, you look great. How are you? So Very we're going to walk down to the yeah, TV we'll station? Walk this way. So where are we going? To the Somali we're, TV station? Or? Yes, we're going to the Somali TV studio where uh, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's a lot of guys there. Yeah. So. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I consider myself a Somali TV studio now, you know? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> absolutely. You, I, will, I will say our opera <laughs> You have your own brand, but that one is another legend, right? Hey, why not? You, yeah. got, you got to imitate the legends to get to where you want to go. Absolutely. No one, nothing's doing new under the sun, you know? <laughs> so yes, I do want to be an Oprah. Oh yeah, mashallah. Why not? Probably we'll send the word out to her. Hey, come on! Do you know last week, mm -hmm. Oprah made $71 million in one day? Yes, yes. I, I, Incredible! I, I, yeah, yeah. She, she bought just shares from a company yes. all of a sudden I want to buy from that company. <laughs> That's the kind of life, making yeah. money while you sleep. Yeah, while you sleep. Who doesn't oh. want that? No, man. And That's... then taking that money and doing good with it, helping yeah. our community, yeah. helping Somalia rebuild, why right. not? 
Yes, I want to be Oprah. How do you want to, how do you like Minnesota? I love it here. Hey, oh, you saw Taleh Street, Somali Street? Uh, yes. <laughs> I can't wait to go to the actual Taleh, real Taleh City next. <laughs> it's more dusty than here. <laughs> I know, it would be, it would be, yes, yes. This yeah, is amazing. It is. So tell us, what do you do in Minneapolis? I am a real estate broker, and uh, I have, uh, I'm also involved in a lot of activity in Somali community. Okay. Uh, organizing them uh, for many ways. Cool. Do you know Hiba Mohammed is there? Is that Hiba Noura? Hiba Noura. Hiba Noura! <laughs> Sona Kolo, Nabada. Sona Kolo, Nabada. Sona Kolo. You are the first Somali song I learned. Let's sing it together. My Somali is bad, guys, but Hibanura, oh my god, I'm such a legend. Oh, it's a laugh. I have a special heart for a Somali artist because. We don't value our artists like we should. This is a living legend. May Allah bless you for all your contributions. You too, you too. Your songs have touched the hearts of people you all over too, the world. You too. So let's hear a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this was the song. My mom told me the history of Hetri. I forgive you. I know. That's the past. But Hoyo Hegutri Hesta, they used to sing it for men when they used to go away and go for look for jobs in Saudi Arabia. So the woman would say, I'm waiting for your love. Come back. <laughs> so anyways. For this what letter? No, I think I... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, but it's not I will be why but just say hi to Integration TV. Yeah, that's it, alhamdulillah. I know, I know. This is a legend, I love her. Hiba Noura, all over Somalia. Everybody should know this woman and North America, everywhere around the world. A living legend who did so much for our country and a great storyteller and poet Thank you too. very much. How do you want to sing? I'm going to sing the song still, but I know you don't sing anymore. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Thank you, Herman. See you out, inshallah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Salaam alaikum.